Hi guys, welcome to my airbrush channel. Uh, today I'm not going to show anything about airbrushing or painting, but I'm going to show you some other stuff that can be useful to you when you airbrush. Maybe how to build it on your own. Uh, the first thing is my airbrush station that I work with. Uh, I live in a very tight area, I don't have my airbrush studio anymore. And uh, the first thing I've done is uh, connecting my computer table or in my corner so this is my computer over here and I have my uh, stencil cutter and uh, what I did is this is my little studio looks like this got my all my airbrushes and uh, over here get my compressor put on my folders with my stencils so far and this is some artwork I'm working on right now I've been taking a class with Marissa uh, she's been great, she's a great teacher but and also over here I built in some fans work great and on the top, so far it looks like this. Uh, over here I got my stencil burners. Over here I made a, put some shelves for my paints. At least I get something organized. So what I did is to connect my computer table like this. And over here, the same here, you see. And then I built this table for my station uh, so I can paint. I'll show a quickie here. But another thing I'm gonna show you is my portable uh, airbrush station. This is my portable airbrush station it's a little big and uh, it's very heavy when you load it up with the compressor and uh, with t-shirts and all that stuff and uh, then I'm going to show you some detailed pictures of how it's done and that will be right after this video it will be the same video but right afterwards so let's go ahead I hope you can hear me I'm gonna stand over there so Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, the purpose that I made this uh, portable airbrush uh, station is because I don't have a car. Yeah, too bad for me. Uh, but uh, it, it's always the hassle, you know, bringing a compressor. I had a silent compressor before, so I had to move that along. And a box with uh, t shirts and another box with the airbrushes and the paint it was a lot of stuff to bring on you know when you had to be somewhere to paint something so I wanted everything to be in the same box uh, so I got some interesting uh, thoughts about buying uh, the max jet compressor uh, or other stuff for compressors you know they have this portal bag uh, a portable station so I decided to make my own so this is how it works. First of all you open it over here, you open the lid. This. Like so. And Inside here, you got uh, you can draw these out. Put your paints inside here, or your T-shirts, and uh, over here you can take this out as well. I'm gonna show you how it works. So I make mean, like this: the box. Uh, put your airbrushes standing up over here. You know, a lot of paints, and in the bottom. On this here, I did my put my compressor 
and the tank, a portable tank like this. And I bought a an, uh, compressor, the same compressor. Uh, I think this is the power jet from Iwata. It's the same compressor that they have in the Max Jet portable station. Connect it to this, and you have a more, even a stronger compressor than the Max Jet. I mean, air tank. So, I'm gonna put this over here. So, this is what I've done. You see it like this, and you can just Pull out the legs. That. Pull out the legs. Like this. And you got your own table. Great, huh? So we're gonna hook this on somehow. Need to cut the video. Like so. So guys, it looks like this. Uh, the legs over here, it's it's not finished yet, so you can see it on the bottom. I'm gonna put some markings so I can uh, attach the compressor and uh, the legs down here. I put some adjustable legs, uh, so if you stand on an even ground or grass or something, <clears throat> you can just adjust it to the size. Uh, so it will be well balanced uh, and the lid if you open the lid you have your own air, you can put your airbrushes in there uh, this here as you can see here in the bottom uh, is to hold the lid up it's gonna be very heavy so you have you don't have to hold it up all the time so just put it there and you can attach it to it You connect it to the side and the lid over here. I'm gonna show you how that works. I thought of everything, so it worked like this. Open this here, pull this up, and you can put your hairbrushes over here, but you can also put your business cards papers, you put this back, you can also, uh, this is gonna be a, a, a remake of this, this table can also turn into another table, I mean this can turn into a, a table by putting those on the side, over here, you get two tables. Like this, and I've been made some space over here, an opening, so you can just. This is this is not the right board, but I don't think this fits. No, you can see it slides right down, all the way down to the bottom. I like this. I have a little portable easel that I put on the table, and then I get everything with me, all the all the stuff that I need. So this fits just perfectly in a car. Yeah. If you have any questions how I did it, take a look at this video here. Thanks guys.